really proud of myself for having written seven books. I never thought that after writing um, my first book, uh, A Link Between Two Worlds, Arnie on the Own, that I'd get all the way to seven. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy. We first met Gabriella K. Kwaki from London, Ontario in 2022. It was then the young black author released her first book series. K. Kwaki hasn't slowed down and is now celebrating publishing her seventh book. The most recent book, which published in June, it's a bilingual standalone. It's called The Whispering Willow, Solishishotan. It talks about this girl named Gabri who lost all of her memories and she awakens in this world that she no longer remembers. And she has to try and find this ancient tree called the Whispering Willow, which will hopefully bring back her memories um, before she loses them forever. Kay Kwaki is a big fan of the fantasy genre, which has inspired the story she has written. When we first spoke with her last year, she had more than 20,000 followers across her social medias. Since then, her popularity as an author and on social media has increased, to the tune of 100,000 followers. I'm really grateful and thankful that a lot of people like my works, um, and I'm also very happy for their support. Kay Kwaki's advice for aspiring writers, both young and old, is to just start and don't wait. The London native says she will continue to write books, but her goal is to see her work on the big screen and in the director's chair. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.